Bumpus mills are seriously cool. Could be a thing as well. Can you imagine Bumpus Bumpus mills is is a thing now? It's a very good name. Maps, materials. So we we only have. Oh, well, there we go. Alts. These are the alternate textures here. Matte cloud, matte glass, matte vehicle. Cool. Textures. Here we go. That's nice. Different people textures. Meshes. So it looks like we don't have any any particle systems in here in this one. Glad to have them from on the farm. I mean, you can bring in other things, of course. It's a demonstration and overview. Um, demonstration. Let's do that. <laughs> Super redneck. Ouch. <laughs> When did you live there, Brian? I mean, how long ago? So the thing also is that if you have multiple assets, I suppose you could, like the farm could be one level, but then the suburb could be another level. I'm thinking of uh, tying them together so that you have maybe a character that has to go and hop in a car and drive from here to there and pick something up on the farm that then has a use in in this in the town or in the city it's kind of a nice little project to to get started with and check things like if the player has the key then you can unlock the door to the rusty farmhouse that sort of thing see if we can come up with some kind of story Redneck are usually... <laughs> Julia doesn't want me to say it. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's cool. I, I'll let Brian explain what a redneck is. 20 years ago, okay. Compiling shaders. A good thing you only have to do that once. Steve, good afternoon. Again. Like we met yesterday, right? For me, it's still the same day, but for you, it's already another day. <laughs> Is that right? I think so. Oh, okay, cool. So this is the town. Not to be confused, of course, with the city. Oh, there we go. That's that's very well said, Brian. I'm 100% behind you there. Pawn transaction. Woo -hoo. So this is much more suburban now than what we checked out a moment ago. Not that there's much inside the store, nor can we go into the store. I suppose it's closed. That's cool. No worries. It's just a demo level. But yeah, that's that garage, that convenience store that you were just talking about. Oh, I've got Coke machine on the outside. Good stuff. Uh, <clears throat> soda machine. Ice cream. Sunglasses even. Look at that. That's cool. Several different models. All kinds of candy bars. Freezy slush. That's very cool. And then, of course, we have houses. Oh, even a hardware store and buses. Look at that. Cars. Lots of cars. And I suppose you can even attach some of those exhaust things onto the car from the other pack and just make them slightly smaller. And then you just have a lot of driving cars around. That's cool. Fire vehicle, my goodness, we have it all. School bus. Ah, and this is the crossover. Somebody's got a little vegetable patch here. Once again, we ask ourselves, is it a fruit or is it a vegetable? Tomato 
No, uh, Joe, I totally went out uh, with my mask. We're always wearing masks now. We've got very good masks. Just got in from uh, from China. Took about six weeks for them to arrive or four weeks. But yeah, we now have good masks. Oh, good point. Yes, you think this the COVID has already taken a hold of the townsfolk here? No way. This is like in Schitt's Creek, Bob's Hardware. Well, that was Bob's garage, wasn't it? He had a garage, not hardware. Yeah, we need to change that texture. It'll be Bob's Hardware for sure. A little bit empty here. Back room closed. Yes, no one's here. Yeah, looks as, yeah, absolutely. Also, can we not go in the houses? Uh, looks like the window material needs looking at. Oh no, actually they've just got drawn curtains, that's all. It's where the foresty region already begins. We got a little pool at the back. Good stuff, little Jimmy plays here. Looks just like your little duck, doesn't it, Christina? Except for you can swim with this. I do like the cars in here, I must say. And then I suppose one puzzle that I have, which will be probably revealed in a moment when we look at the other uh, level, is how do you make the streets? I would imagine they're all just tiles, aren't they, that you fit together? Bus is nice, isn't it? So many of these elements, I, I kind of, I feel like I know this from Fortnite. This is like a, like a part of the, part of the whole Fortnite map, isn't it? Oh, here we go. We can go into this house. Well, at least into his garage. I can see an open, open door here. Well, we'll have a look. Hey, this should be in Bob's hardware. Maybe this has been stolen from Bob's hardware. <laughs> So funny. And a dryer. This is so nice. And also, this looks like an extension. So there's no plasterboard on the wall. It's just that you can see the beams still. That's cute. Ooh, very nice. Well, he lives here. <laughs> Studio B, that's right. Actually, Studio C, Brian, this this would have been Studio C here over there. Like with the, oh, hang on, I'm in the bathroom now. Oh, look at the shower, that's nice. They have toilet paper. Oh, come on, that's terrible. Somebody flushed this down, the, this is terrible. I mean, I mean, 100%. Crazy. Oh, living room. Game controller. Look at that. Wireless, too. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it, Rod? I mean, I, I don't know. We can't, we can't go back and take it out because we can just delete it. It's just, it's like flushing the toilet. All right. Look at that. Artwork. This has got to be New York, I think. <laughs> I wasn't either, Steve. That's kind of a surprise here. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go upstairs in the, into the bedroom here. This is a couple that lives here. Unless, uh, is that the same guy? I can't tell. Could be. It's kind of different hairstyle. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yes. Bunk beds. Let's go before the kids. Oh, they're just moving in, aren't they? <laughs> Poop in the toilet. My goodness. Some, some things you just can't get over easy. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Cannot unsee. That's it. Right, that's it. We need to go back downstairs and rectify the situation immediately. Good point. Let's not go back. Let's not look at it again. Ooh, artistic. 
that is good, isn't it? When they do, when they do stuff like that, that's just that gives this whole thing. That's just so cool. Ah, yes, we've got another bathroom coming up here. Close your eyes, everyone. Close your eyes. Rod, you're not eating dinner, are you? Oh, there we go. Good stuff. Oh my god, yeah. It does, doesn't it? Like a Rusty Lake painting. I mean, that's what I'm thinking would be kind of a kind of a doable thing to do with assets like that and the limited knowledge that I have of logic so far that we can probably put something like a Rusty Lake type thing together, more like puzzle base and you gotta you gotta wander around exploring these things, spooky lighting and all that. And then you've put puzzles together, perhaps slightly less you know, dark than Rusty Lake. Good amount of cars here too. Yes, he's got a vegetable patch, yes. Nice, isn't it? Who's else? Who, who, which other house can we go in? That was this one here, that's kind of the manor house. It's a church over here. That looks interesting. Churches are always creepy buildings. Even the church has a vegetable patch. Not a graveyard, a vegetable patch. It's a twist. Altar of Yorba. I wonder how you script animations. That's uh, This is something that hasn't been covered yet. Rusty red thing, the game. Oh my god, that'd be cool. You have to fix the rusty red thing. That could be the only method of transportation off the farm. Now that's a good storyline. You have to figure out how to fix the rusty red thing and eventually you can drive it. And then you drive out of it, you drive into the next town, which is, you know, Eureka, California or something like this here, perhaps. Could be that little, could be that town. And then you progress to the city in which you need to go to an office. So that, that makes sense. And at the end of the game, you can drive a convertible. Ah, nice. Is that, whose channel is that? Is that Infenza? Was that his name, I think? I'll go to the overview level now. This is so that we can have a look at each individual item on the list. Ooh, okay. Yes, there's all the cars, there's all the people that come that come with this. Oh yeah, we've got schoolgirl, mom, diner waitress, perhaps, bank robber, the chef. Chef with the funky cap that goes the other way around. That's cool. And I guess businessman. Holiday guy. Or like leisure guy. Oh, look at the artwork. Oh my God, the artwork. Cool, redhead guy. Very good. And his partner in crime. Good stuff. Undercover agents. She's got to be. She's got to be the art. The artist. This. This has got to be like the layer equivalent of uh, of the town. In the infamous T pose, indeed. Yes, I think that is one thing that these things don't really have. They don't have single poses. You have animations from Mixamo, I guess, that you could apply, and then the characters walk around in them. But they don't necessarily have still poses. There's all the stuff that we can we can put into Bob's hardware. Yes, even spare parts like this. <laughs> yeah, different types of drinks, Listerine and all that. You have to literally, you gotta you gotta make yourself a list of all the stuff that's actually there if you wanted to use all of these things. This organization is a huge amount of getting there. Look at that, variations of toilet paper. All right. Groups on a stick, in a packet, single rolls, grid balls. How exciting. Oh yes, garden holes, ice cream van. Oh yeah, microwave door opens. Artwork.
Man, if this is not, if this is not inspiring, then I don't know what. Got different picture frames as well. <laughs> These guys are actually in New Zealand who made this. All oh, right. Happy birthday to me, I guess. Look at that. With the knife already. So, anyone for chocolate cake? So, let me see if we can find the the coffee cup as well. Oh, there we go. Cheese platter for afterwards. That's nice. Dog bowl. Dog and cat live here as well. That's nice. <laughs> And the fruit bowl. Oh, yeah, you can have food inside them, or it could be empty. Also, scale, what you weight, you know, it's good stuff. Oh, yes, we're going into the electronics section here. This has got to be the magic keyboard and the magic mouse. No point of sale terminal. Yes, of course. So that Bob can take credit cards. That's nice. Polygon Street, Simple Road. Mike, Andrew, and Justin. I think those are the guys that run Sinti. Do you think that's the coffee? I think that's, uh, oh, that's more like the toilet brush. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good point. Do I have this? There's the toilets. No one looked too close. My goodness. And it's all for sale. Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely. Grab whatever you can carry. My goodness. And then you can literally assemble your whole, your own thing. Prefabs. That's right. You can make prefabs. Wow. So that's the next 10 years of my life sorted. <laughs> oh, finally, we can go into the kitchen, in the kitchen, into the church. How did, how did my brain mix up church and kitchen? <laughs> how, how, did, how do these things happen, I wonder? <laughs> Ooh, this looks like mattress one here. So cool. Ah, yes. Drinks in the fridge. All right. Have a, have a good dinner. Oh, and this is actually the question I had. How do you create roads? You just, you just do this. That's sidewalks, and these are roads now, aren't they? Mm-hmm. That's actually... And you can spend so much time just putting these assets as simple as they are onto a map so that you have a believable kind of road that goes windy windy and whew, phenomenal well i say i'm gonna go make myself another cup of tea and i'll be back in about five minutes and at that point we're going to look at the last set that i bought which is what was it again the office set. Oh my god, I'm looking forward to the office set. There's people with cappuccinos and on computers and all. It's going to be so exciting. <laughs>